Texas for about uh, oh, I'm so happy another to be back on YouTube because I have not posted in two days according to my channel. Or sidebars that may come out so, of them. So around six o'clock East Coast time, video, a little bit after that, make sure you like, I think we're pretty comment, much gonna and handle subscribe. Us to what we have learned today and when you're able to sit back yeah. later. And summarize what we have we have seen. Uh, we really had no way of charting the day. We had an idea how the program was going to run, how the hearing would uh, be conducted, but you never know until the hearing gets underway as to what's going to come. And you think about um, you think about the way this was laid out on behalf of Democrats and Republicans. And Chuck Grassley saying he wanted a fair process. Has this been to this point been fair? I think it's as been, uh, I think Chuck Grassley has run it about as fairly as you could expect under the circumstances. Mm -hmm. Again, okay, so cases like this are much better handled. Let's get started of why away from the cameras, I haven't away from been the politics, but that's what it's got dragged into. Yeah, let's they're, get into why I haven't been posting. Stuff, I certainly think that Dr. Ford I haven't been posting uh, because I've been she so the busy to tell lately her story, that uh, to provide corroborating evidence if she had any. Judge Kavanaugh is now certainly uh, having the opportunity to tell his story. Okay, so what I'm basically okay, trying to say, Thomas I have nothing to talk about, and lately I've been busy in school. Peter Ducey is outside the hearing room now, and Peter, have you been able to grab anyone since the last break here? Good afternoon again. Not since the last break, Bill. People are very hesitant to pass judgment on what they've seen or heard uh, until Kavanaugh is done, and that includes Senator Jeff Flake, who is known to be uh, perhaps the only undecided Republican. And remember, it is really important to Republican leadership and Chuck Grassley that they advance Kavanaugh out of the Judiciary Committee with a favorable vote. So essentially, uh, they want every single Republican to so, sign off on Kavanaugh here in the committee yeah, tomorrow before they send it to the, the full video. Senate floor. If they don't have not, they gotta be like they, they need, they, they can be still like advance it to the Senate right floor and now, then just so. roll the dice, see what happens. Like, It'll be a closer vote. Maybe hope that some moderate Democrats peel off and support okay. Kavanaugh's okay. nomination. But I just got that right like now, Don McDonald's, but I should have done that. are very, very tight-lipped. And actually, part of the reason that it's so tough to get them here right outside the committee room is because they've got us totally roped in around the corner, which is very unusual. In these Senate office buildings, even for the most high profile hearings, they generally let us roam pretty freely in buildings like this one. This is I have the a lot kind of place where so far and I room, this nice and a couple doors down there is a senator's seat. state office. It's been totally locked down. The entire hallway seat. is completely sealed off mm, for anybody um, that is not escorted by the police, which is basically just the lawmakers.